Am I the asshole? For showing my mom the letter my sister wrote to me before she died? I lost my sister Birdie last year. Birdie was 20 when she died. She had been diagnosed with cancer a year before her death. She knew she was dying so she made a will for the very few things she had. It was mostly sentimental childhood stuff she had. Old stuffies and she had a necklace that our dad bought her. Stuff like that. It wasn't a lot. But she left it all to me. She also wrote a letter to me before she died. But anyway, I was the only person who got anything from Birdie. She left our grandparents paternal in charge of everything until I'm 18 or until I'm out of mom's house. The problem with this is mom has other kids. Birdie and I lost our dad when we were both kids. Mom remarried. Neither of us really cared much for mom's husband and when mom had more kids, we didn't feel the same about them as we did each other. Birdie was more vocal while I didn't say anything. Mostly I didn't want to fight with mom over it and I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But Birdie and mom never really got along and it was only worse after dad died and then mum remarried. The fact Birdie left nothing for our half-siblings and never even wrote them a goodbye letter bothers mom and it really upset them because they wanted to know why she wrote to me and left me her stuff but not them. They wanted to read my letter but I said no. It became a fight with mom then and she wanted to know why Birdie left the rest of the family nothing and why even when she knew she was dying she couldn't find a way to embrace the other kids enough to give them something, a small goodbye. I showed mom the letter because Birdie wrote a lot about her feelings and mentioned things she and I talked about when mom wasn't around. I knew the letter would be a lot. Birdie said clearly she never loved or cared about the other kids at all and wanted me to know that she didn't want them to have anything but if I felt differently, if I ended up loving them one day and wanted to give them something of hers, that she wouldn't be mad. Mom read the whole thing twice, if not three times, and then she asked me why I had shown her the letter and what did I want to do with her. She was so mad she was shaking and she told me I was never to show my half-siblings and I pointed out I had said no to them reading it already. Nothing else was said that day but then mom told me I was cruel for rubbing my sister's words in her face and she wanted me to know she might never be able to forgive me for it. She told me forgiveness would be off the table if I ever breathed a word of it to her. Other kids. Am I the asshole? You are not cruel. Your mom wanted to know. She seems to be a bit narcissistic and cannot acknowledge her role in your sister feeling the way that she did. I am sorry that she is angry at you and lashing out at you and trying to make you feel like you did something wrong but you did not. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. First, sorry for your loss, op. Second, your mom demanded the letter to be read and can't take the contents. She is taking it out on you. I hope your mom gets help from a therapist or a counselor regarding her feelings. Yes. She is hurting but it's not right to blame you for the contents of the letter that you didn't write. Not the asshole. Here's the key point it became a fight with mom then and she wanted to know. She was pushing you so hard to find out what bird you thought, and now she is blaming you for it, and even threatening you if you are honest with your siblings. That's all bullshit. And you didn't rub your sister's words in her face. You simply gave in to her request to understand. Of course, it's complicated because your mother is grieving the loss of her daughter, but the way she is abusing you is unacceptable. I'm sorry. Not the asshole your sister had little time left to live and that time belonged to her not to anyone else. If anything it's sad and quite literally speaks volumes about the relationship between your mom and your sister if she didn't even know that Bevor. Not only that but your mother has been mad at her sister for executing her will and when you showed her why, she blames you? I bet she knows she missed her chance to console things while your sister was still alive but that's not on you. So your mom demanded and fought to see the letter, and then asked you why you let her? Wait till you're out of the house to say this, but in the future she should trust you more. Because if she's going to fuck around, she will find out. She didn't really give you a choice anymore. Not the asshole. You are in a no-win here, your mom is clearly hurting and is taking it out on you. 
not the asshole as it's your sister's words that are hurting her, not your actions. I feel for you all, sorry for your loss and hope you can all heal with time. Not the asshole. Don't ask if you don't want to know the answer. Not the asshole, and my sympathy for the loss of your sister. Your mom, however, is a piece of work. She practically demanded you hand over the letter left by your sister and then blamed you for its contents. She explicitly asked to know what Birdie's reasoning was, and you gave it to her. She's simply dealing with the consequences of her own actions. You did nothing wrong. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I am so sorry for your great loss op. Not the asshole. Never, never, never ask a question you don't want an answer to. Not the asshole, your mom sounds abusive, no wonder Birdie didn't get along with her, her reaction is manipulative. Hopefully you can find a way to distance yourself from her when you're old enough. She wants you to know she might never forgive you tell her you never asked for it. She got what she asked for and only has herself to blame. Do not feel guilty for your mother being upset that is on her. I'm so sorry for your loss. Stay strong. Get out as soon as possible. Mom why didn't Birdie like her half-siblings? Op shows her a letter in her own words why she doesn't like her half-siblings. Mom I can't believe you showed me this, why did you show me this? Op you asked. Mom shocked Pikachu face. Not the asshole. Classic parental reversal. Not the asshole, your mother deserves to know how her daughter felt before she died. Not the asshole your mom demanded to see the letter and she saw it. Her anger is her own fault. Ah yes, the classic I asked for it but it wasn't exactly what I wanted so now it's your fault post. Not the asshole. You would be TA if you did it maliciously, or if Birdie explicitly didn't want them her to read it, but as written not the asshole. It seems like it was the easiest resolution to an idiotic fight, and she asked for it. It's not on you that she didn't like what she found. Not the asshole. Why your sister was dying. Your mother expected her to write goodbye letters to her half-siblings plus leave them some trinket. That is really terrible. I guess your mother couldn't stand to hear the truth. She seems to be more focused on her new kids than you and your late sister. My sincere condolences on your sister's passing. Edited to add she also seems to have little or no compassion for you either knowing that you grieve your sister. Not the asshole. I am so, so sorry for your loss. It seems like you were stuck between a rock and a hard place. If you didn't show your mother the letter, she would have never stopped pestering you about it. The truth hurts and your mother is taking that anger out on you which isn't fair. Mom clearly effed around and found out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your mom needs to grow up. These are your sister's words, and she is wrongfully taking them out on you. Mom lives in a fantasy, that will never happen now that one of her older kids is gone. The veil has been lifted somewhat, and now she has to go about it in a way that threatens you for the sake of her other children she needs to stop it. The kids already know. They aren't stupid.